before this uh, video begins, I would like to congratulate Mikey for answering correctly the bonus question given in my video, Solving for X in the Linear Equation and Rational Algebraic Equations. I also would like to uh, dedicate this new video on quadrilaterals to Mr. Halan Koriba, who asked or who made a special request. Hi, Halan. This video on quadrilaterals was specially made for you. Thank you for giving your comment in my other videos. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Before we start, smash the subscribe button and hit the bell button. Our lesson for today is quadrilaterals. And as I told you, I'm dedicating this video to Mr. Halan who requested for geometry videos. Let's start. Problem number one. OFIE is a parallelogram and is also a rhombus. You, we will have to solve for X, Y, and Z. So, given a rhombus, always you always have to remember that the diagonals bisect each other and are perpendicular. So, the measurement of the angle here is 90. Therefore, X should also be 90. Here, there. So, we get 1 already. X is 90. Now, um, given that this is a parallelogram, if this angle is 26 degrees, this must also be 26 degrees. Why? Because this line this side line segment OF and line segment EI are parallel so therefore these are alternate interior angles so the and you know that alternate interior angles are congruent there so if this is 26 this is also 26 now let's take a look at this 90 plus 26 right plus Z must be equal to 180 Y the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180. So to solve for Z, we have 90 plus 26. Add 6. 9 plus 2 is 11. Subtract from 180. 180 minus 116 will give you the value of Z. So this is 0 minus 6 cannot be, but 110, this is 7. 10 minus 6 is 4, 7 minus 1 is 6, so Z is 64. Let me write Z here to be 64, there. So now, um, let's see, we need to solve for Y. Okay, so to solve for Y, we can target this triangle. This is 90, so this will also be 90 degrees. Vertical angles are congruent. So if this is 90 degrees, we can solve for the measurement of the angle here. I'll put a question mark. Why? The sum of the angles of the triangle is 180. So if you add 90 plus 64, and the answer subtract from 180 will get the measurement of this angle here. Okay, so let's try that. 90 plus 64 is 4, 154. Then, 180 minus 154 gives us the value of the question mark, which is 0 minus 4 cannot be, borrow 1. So this becomes 7. 10 minus 4 is 6. 7 minus 5 is 2. So this is now 26. 
Okay, if this is 26, then y will also be 26 there. So y is equal to 26. Problem number two. Let's call this uh, rhombus joani. Joani. There. Quadrilateral joani is a rhombus, or we call this rhombus joani. This is 106. So we have a linear pair here. So we can get the measurement of this angle with question mark by subtracting 180 minus 106 or subtracting 106 from 180. So 0 minus 6 cannot be, borrow 1 from 7. 10 minus 6 is 4, we have 7. So this is 74. If this is 74, this must also be 74. Why? Because line segment JI is congruent to line segment JN. We have this theorem in geometry that if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite them are congruent. So how do we solve for X now? We add this to, subtract from 180, we will get X. So 74 plus 74 is... 8, 7 plus 7 is 148. Subtract from 180 to get x. Why? Because we have a triangle here. The sum of the angles is 180. So this is now 0 minus 8 cannot be. Make this 10. Borrow 1 from 8, 7. 10 minus 8 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. So, x is now 32. There. Now, how do we solve for y? Ah, I see. Line segment JN is also congruent to line segment OA. So, if this is 106, Z must also be 106. There, we have an answer for Z. And, to solve for y, this side line segment JO is parallel to line segment NA or IA if they are parallel this is now your transversal so the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary so 106 plus Y is 182 therefore to solve for Y you have 180 minus 106 oh wait a minute i see something which is shorter we don't have to do that but we will do that later there opposite angles are congruent so y is 74 why is 74 let's let's say we go back to my solution a while ago these two lines or line segments are parallel so the in Interior angles on the same side are supplementary. So 180 minus 106 gives us 10 minus 6 is 4. We borrowed 1. 7 minus 0 is 7. C. you'll get the same answer. But it is shorter if you see that the opposite angles are congruent. Let's move on to problem number 3 here. Oh. Quadrilateral, quadrilateral vern is a trapezoid. So, this side is parallel to this side. Interior angles on the same side are supplementary. Therefore, Y will be 180 minus 112. So, 0 minus 2 cannot be. Borrow 1. This is 10. This is 7. 10 minus 2 is 8, 7 minus 1 is 6, that is y. So y is 68, y is 68 here. Now, what about uh, x? Okay, so 
do you see that you have a linear pair here? So therefore, this question mark will be equal to 180 minus 124. They form a linear pair. So 0 minus 4 cannot be, bar 1, this becomes 10, this becomes 7, 10 minus 4 is 6, 7 minus 2 is 5. So this is now 56. If this is 56, remember, just like what I did here, they form, they are supplementary, therefore, x is just equal to 180 minus 56. 0 minus 6 cannot be, this becomes 10. 10 minus 6 is 4, we borrowed 1, so that is 7. 7 minus 5 is 2, and this is 1, 124, so x is 124. Problem number 4. Char is a square. So if it is a square, all the angles of a square are 90 degrees or right angles, so this must be 90. So very simple, for you to get y, you solve for 90 minus 35, you'll be getting y. So 0 minus 5 cannot be, borrow 1 from 9, 9 becomes 8, 10 minus 5 is 5, 8 minus 3 is 5, so y is 55. Now what about x? A square is a parallelogram. So this line segment is parallel to this line segment. Therefore, the alternate interior angles are congruent. So x must be 35. So x is equal to 35. Let's move on to problem number 5. Let's call this quadrilateral O, F, I, E is a rectangle. The angles of a rectangle are 90 degrees, all 90 degrees. So, oh, this is easy. So if this is 70 degrees, X must be 90 minus 70, you get 20, that is X. So x is 20 degrees here. What about y? So in a rectangle, this is also parallel to this. This is your transversal. So if x here is 20, these are alternate interior angles. So y is also 20. So y here is 20. There. Now, what if they ask for another angle z here? Obviously, the sum here is 90. 90 minus 20 will give you a z in case, a z which is equal to 70. Then to check, the alternate interior angles are congruent. So that will also give you 70 for z. Okay, I hope I was of help to you. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget, smash the subscribe button and hit the bell button. Thank you.